How to help your child enjoy a good night's sleep with child sleep specialist Andrea Grace. For your growing child, the world is a fascinating place. Every day she's bombarded by new experiences and sensations. Is it any wonder then that at times she has difficulty falling asleep and staying asleep? Step one, prepare for bed. In preparation for bedtime, you and your child should try the following. Avoid too much lively activity very near to bedtime. Try to have a quiet time together, chatting or reading. Avoid having an overfull tummy. Any pre-bedtime snacks should be light and easily digested. Do not allow your child to have cola or other fizzy drinks or snacks like sweets and chocolate which contain stimulating substances. Keep the bedroom for sleep. Discourage vigorous activities in your child's room or she may associate it with wakefulness rather than sleep. Never send your child to her room as a punishment. Make sure that your child's bed and mattress are comfortable and that the room temperature is correct, around 18 degrees Celsius. Your child needs to feel safe in order to sleep well at night. And one of the best ways that you can help her to feel safe is providing her with a really familiar bedtime routine with lots of repetition and familiarity. Choice of bedtime stories is very important. Avoid any scary stories and if your child is older, check out what they're reading. Keep the lighting low, but the bedroom needn't be pitch dark. It is okay to keep a landing light on or very dim night light. It is vital that you demonstrate a cheerful and confident attitude to bedtime and are able to be in control about applying the rules and routines. Step 2. If your child won't settle to sleep. If you've prepared your child well for bed, then she should have no problems about falling asleep. Sometimes, though, children feel scared when they're left alone. These worries can spring from either actual or imagined experiences. Make time to talk to your child about her worries. Sometimes there may be practical solutions to them. If possible, it is best to talk early in the day rather than close to bedtime. At bedtime, do not allow yourself to get into a long discussion about your child's fears or worries. Remember, you have already done this during the day and dwelling too much on them can sometimes reinforce the fears. It is most important that your child learns to go to sleep without having you in the room. Kiss goodnight and then go. If you are used to sitting with your child until sleep comes, you can expect lots of protest and a much longer settling period than you're used to. You will need to keep on briefly returning to them to quickly reassure them. Children love things to be familiar and predictable. And understandably, when you change the way that they settle to sleep at night, it's going to be pretty stressful for them. It's very important that you remain resolved, consistent and confident. And that way, when you start sleep training, it really shouldn't take more than a very few nights. Step 3. Waking up at night. If your child wakes in the night because she's had a nightmare, Encourage her to repeat a simple mantra like, Go away, silly dream. Demonstrate a calm and reassuring manner. If your child is feeling frightened and out of control, she needs to know that you are totally in control. Try to avoid letting your child into your bed, unless you don't mind it becoming a habit. It is important that after you've been to your child to reassure her that when she's calm and no longer distressed, you leave her to get back to sleep alone. She needs your help to cope independently with bad dreams and hanging around for too long may reinforce her fears. Helping your growing child to sleep through the night is a really good investment of your time. She needs her sleep and you need your sleep so that you can both cope with the challenges ahead and with her boundless energy.